This is the question of 2017, October, November, paper 1-1. One, one, and the question number is 7. It shows that an archer, archer shoots an arrow at a target, target. The diagram shows the path of the arrow, so diagram. Air resistance is assumed to be negligible, so this is something to be taken care of. The graph show how three different quantities, P, Q, and R, relating to the motion of the arrow, vary with time, and that too with uh, negligible air resistance. So these are the graphs. So which quantity is the horizontal component of displacement, and which quantity is the vertical component of displacement of the arrow? So we have to identify which quantity quantities are the horizontal displacement as well as the vertical displacement. So in such type of projectile, let us first uh, consider the basic rules. What we have to have is, these projectiles have, the only force is, the only force is vertical force. Vertical force. And that's equal to force of gravity. So this force of gravity is constant. So this makes the vertical acceleration, let us say a vertical constant, a vertical constant, and uh, that uh, makes uh, this uh, v vertical increase, v vertical increase, increase uniformly, uniformly. And uh, if I go for the horizontal force, the horizontal, horizontal force, force equal to zero. So this makes uh, the acceleration horizontal is equal to zero and this makes a v horizontal is equal to constant equal to constant so here then now the displacement will be the displacement which we call as x that's equal to v horizontal into time so it is constant into constant into time so this equation resembles resembles y equal to m into x t is in the x axis we have this y is in the vertical axis. So, so this thing should be equal to, this thing should form a graph, form such a graph which is a straight line passing through the origin. Straight line passing through the origin. So this Q should be, Q should be the horizontal displacement or horizontal component of displacement. So if I go to answer choices here, the answer choice is B. It's Q. And uh, uh, there's no other choices where Q is present. Now, if I go to this uh, vertical displacement, which we are considering here, so this SV will now follow an equation somewhat like this. It will be U vertical into time plus 1 by 2 G into T square. So U vertical is constant. It is time plus half G T square. This will be a parabolic parabolic path. And since it is going up here, the value of g here should be minus. And this minus will be a parabola which is reverse. Parabola which is reverse. So that's why this should be choice number, choice number, uh, sorry, this should be uh, this graph. So this is the vertical displacement. Its graph should be like r, which is in choice number b. So even if you don't know this, you can make it a complete uh, answer by having the choice this only because uh, knowing the pattern of vertical uh, displacement is slightly difficult but uh, the uh, pattern of difference of a horizon displacement is much more easier so knowing only this thing can give you uh, the correct answer in this choice so the correct choice is choice number b